What's up guys? As you can see today, uh, I gotta talk to you in here. Of course, it's uh, always like 30 mile an hour winds in Illinois. It never fails, man. But anyway, how are you guys doing? Uh, I'm excited to bring you today, finally, the lift reveal. I know we've all been waiting on this build for this uh, on the power wipe. I'm really excited about it. Uh, as you could see some images and video before. Uh, I just got it done, or it just was finished yesterday picked it up and of course it was raining so uh, I'm filming this today but uh, first impressions are it's awesome I love it um, so let's get down to it if you're new to the channel obviously if you've been following the build you know about me and my truck but uh, if you're new it's a 2015 Ram Power Wagon and um, yeah I've been looking for a lift for a long time obviously as you guys know I've got 37 inch Toyo tires and uh, they're huge I like them but um they're uh, tight fit stock as to be expected the fact that it can even run them stock uh, halfway decent on the road is pretty impressive but uh obviously if you don't want any rubbing and you want some off-road capability you got to lift it a little bit again to compensate for those tires any of you know if you've done your research uh, for 20 14 and up power wagon since they've gone to the coils front and rear for some reason just because power wagons are low production numbers uh, You just are very very hard-pressed to find lifts for power wagons uh, If you got a normal 2500 Ram all day you, you, you got dozens to choose from but us power wagon owners get fucked when we're trying to look for lifts so the crazy reveal today is not many of you were probably expecting this. Um, I was going to go with the AEV kit. I still think that's a great kit. Um, I'm not like ripping on it or anything by not going with them. Uh, it's just pricey and it's for for what you get uh, with talking with them um, with a rep from AEV. Uh, you know, I was only looking at about an inch lift with uh that that going that route and that just wasn't enough for me uh an inch and i'm paying two gram plus uh a lot in labor to get it installed it just isn't worth the money it doesn't even make sense so 
What we did is you are looking at a 2015 Ram Power Wagon on a five inch rough country lift. Now you're probably asking, whoa, hold on, I didn't think BDS or Rough Country or Skyjacker or all them random companies you may think of uh, that they didn't make lifts for power wagons. Well, they technically don't. This uh, lift is for a Ram 2500, but um, if you talk to the right people, you get a good shop, they can make different lifts fit. Um, I hear you can make a BDS lift fit on a Ram uh, power wagon. Uh, the four inch one and then I heard that you can fit a full five inch Rough country lift on a power wagon. So I went with that and it was way cheaper than the AV um, It's the highest the highest rough country one like it's not like the cheap one like it's the best one you can buy but it's still a little cheaper than AV and you get way more clearance you get way more lift out of it and as you can see, there's heavy duty brackets down there. Um, that's the only part I custom that the shop had to do because of the power wagon's different. Uh, but the springs and shocks are cool. Um, I like how they're silver. Uh, the brackets are huge. The trailing arms that it comes with are awesome. They're really heavy duty, really thick. And uh, hopefully I got a good enough video footage for you guys. Obviously, if there's questions, leave them in the comments. But yeah, iRockers Power Wagon is finally lifted now, so now the 37s do not rub at all. No rub, there's flex room. Hey guys, real quick, just a couple things to note. Um, questions you guys may think of, like I said, leave them down below. But a uh, couple just generic things to note is that the ride quality um, is definitely a little better. Uh, it's still a three quarter ton truck, it'll never be a Cadillac, but it soaks up the bumps a little better. Uh, you don't you don't bounce around in the seat as much. I feel like it's a little more planted, um, and uh, so that's pretty nice. Like most roads, even rough roads, you hit a pothole, it just soaks it up a little more. So that's uh, good to note. Uh, the steering is very soft. It's a truck. It it was. I feel like it's even a little softer now, uh, which is fine. Now you can clear 37s, no problem at all. You can park it easier. You can crank the wheel. And you never have to worry about rubbing so it's uh yeah it it helped in every way um you know now the truck's leveled out and higher so you know if you like that look it looks better but i i like the way it looked before planted kind of low but i like the look of it now too it looks like a beast so anyway guys i just wanted to give you a couple of those updates there if I missed it in another segment here and stuff but the fact that I can steer freely and park a little easier I can just crank the wheel and not rub feels great so that's so good now I can go off-road so uh, I'm, ha I'm looking forward to that so we're gonna test it out already by the way remember the Badlands in Attica Indiana uh, April 9th I believe which is this Sunday I know it's this Sunday don't quote me on the date but it's this Sunday um me and my Jeep buddies are going off-roading, so if I see any of there, if I see any of you there, that'd be awesome. You gotta let me know either, uh, you know, on Instagram or down in the comments, or uh, I'm sure you recognize my truck if you know the channel. So if you see me out there, uh, holler. So I'm looking forward to it, guys. Anyway, if you like this, throw a like on there. Subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, I'll catch you guys later.